Hey, under the old yeah. oak tree. Hey, good to see you again, Cole. It's been so long. I, it's it's been so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that da, 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 isn't that a Beatles tune? Uh, I know what you're trying to say, but I can't think of it. I don't know it. if that's right. But... Barry, we need a Barry's we need we'll ba Barry. Barry Wolf. Yeah. Bit. Hey, we're going to see Barry in the Faroe Islands. That's going to be yeah. good fun. We're going to have a lot of old friends. We're going to see in the Faroe. That's going to be yeah. a good trip. I'm, I love the Faroes, and yeah. I, it's going to be fun to introduce some people. There's people coming back for the second time. They liked it so much the first time. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite fun. argumenter. <laughs> Might be with the name of R S initials R S. Well, I'm not. Roxanne. Oh yeah, Roxanne. Yeah, we were just <laughs> we were arguing this morning over AI, not arguing. Where you're, oh, she sent me something. I need to read yeah. the rest of that. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. I, I, the other thing, the Pharaohs, the Pharaohies are going to see you with your silly hat with the propeller because you'll have not submitted the lens work like you've promised, and you're going to have to wear that in public. No, I I will have submitted. I've got <laughs> I've got I've got the folio all folder with forty images all put together. I'm going to narrow it down to thirty, finish them up, send them in. This is that kids eating ice cream, ice cream cone portfolio. No, it's propeller hat folio. Oh, <laughs> hey, what are we talking about today? We're talking about this idea and inspired by Hubo again. Who you know, and I mentioned in a previous episode, I just love her work and and her topic for the same summer series that we did for Nick Stover was this idea of simplicity and mm -hmm. just as I was looking and watching her wonderful program, I realized that that's something that you're pretty drawn to. So what role does simplicity play in your photography and maybe even in your vision? I mean, is simplicity a part of your vision? Is simplicity intentional on your part? You know, I mean, what, what role does simplicity play? Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't think of simplicity as a technique. I see it as part of your vision. It's how you see. And for the last 10 years, for whatever reason, I have been seeing more and more simply. You know, when it began, really, it was when I was focusing on finding my vision. And I said, I need to simplify everything that I do so that I have time for working on my vision. So I simplified my post-processing, my shooting regiment, uh, my equipment. And as a part of it, it spilled over into my images. And increasingly, I love a simple image. And I think is, I don't know how to say, Huibo, did you say? I think that's probably better. You probably said better. She said it's right. not easy to do. Yeah. Simple's not easy to do. You have to really work at it. Yeah. But it's a part of my vision. It's how I see. So I love to define simple. simplicity? I, I mean, what, what makes something have... What is simplicity, I guess? In a practical sense, for me, it's a lack of detail or competing primary objects. Uh, uh, maybe can sense. I show some images? You know what? If, if you have some ready to go, I think yeah. it would be fun to see I have a little what folio simplicity will look like. Uh, I might have to, you know what? Hang on. No, I've already done this. So you should yeah. be able to share. Yeah, this would be good, I think. Can you see it? Not yet. There we go. Yep. Now okay. we can see it. These are just a collection of images I have that are simple images. Uh, and they're done through various techniques. This was uh, my daughter swimming in a pool at night. And by underexposing, I've removed a lot of extra detail. Okay. And the long exposure, longish exposure helped remove detail. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, I don't know how to advance now. There we go. Uh, the Jim Bridger power plant, again, through the use of both underexposure, burning down unnecessary detail. Uh, I was able to create and long exposure helped with all of the. So, so the here speed. you're creating a simple, a simplified image through these techniques, if you will. So it's not a yeah. technique in, in and of itself, but simplicity is playing a major role in your vision of how you saw this image in your mind's eye you saw it being simplified oh, yeah I don't, I don't want anything competing with what i want the viewer to see okay. uh, and so i'll this is another long exposure ironically there are a lot of people walking around in this scene hmm. i couldn't shoot it because there were so many people this guy got drunk run his boat aground oh, and everybody was out to see it so 
I would have done a long exposure anyway, but it had the extra benefit of removing all the people mm -hmm. and it removed all the detail. If I would have had all that water detail, it would have been competing with the main subject. Cole, don't you know that the rules say that you shouldn't block up your blacks? Yeah, well, here's one where I purposely underexposed, then burnt down all the detail up here in the foreground hill. Yeah. And uh, also in the cloud, just to simplify. And, and would you say simplification or simplifying oftentimes is because you want your viewers to see geometric shapes rather than the detail? Well, often the burning down of the image helps bring out a shape that may not be as apparent if it weren't. Look at yeah. the shape of this hill, how prominent it is. And this was full of detail in the original shot. Right. Uh, this was an early one I did, but this was full of detail. Still has a lot, but it's been burned down in the areas that I don't need the detail okay. and left the highlights. I think that's I a good example, actually, because you, you really do have some black blacks and some pretty blocky areas there. But again, Completely. you're doing that with real intent to simplify. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes simplification comes just how you compose. And it's not really necessarily the techniques you apply. It's just the composition. Here's a, I love this one. It's so simple. It's got so few elements in it. And that's, for me, another hallmark of a simple image, very few elements, the long exposure on the plume. And then really all there are is the, the hill with the power lines on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another one through composition and through underexposure to really silhouette and to remove detail. I think the important point you're making here, Cole, is that it is through both composition, meaning that you're keeping it simple in your very intentionally when you're composing, but then in post, you are absolutely taking liberty to darken oh. something down, brighten something up, whatever. Remove something. To yeah. remove something, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the melting giant images. Again, I consider this a very simple image, very few elements in it, the long exposure helping with removing distracting detail. Yeah. And another one where uh, this was a still shot that I had to turn in to a long exposure through post-processing, but it, yeah. it obliterated the detail in the sky and in the water. Yeah, that one, I like that example a lot because you're right, if that sky had detail and that water had detail, that, that would be, it would be fighting, right? Creating tension. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was both through composition and a long exposure and a lot of burning down in the foreground where there were tons of footprints and yeah. I just found them distracting. So I just burn them away. Yeah, good examples. Uh, this was one we did in Death yeah. Valley in one of the dune evenings. Uh, again, yeah. using, you know, the extreme contrast to bring the eye to the moon and kind of darkening down the mountain to remove a lot of detail. Uh, this That's is a funny. portrait I did of Lenny and the Lenny a portrait of breast cancer series using burning to underexposure and burning to remove detail. Yeah, just leaving that top part. Yep. Yeah, you know that tree I out do. there on the Oregon coast. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I'm really drawn to simplification. This one has really been simplified through both long exposure and uh, reducing detail on the yeah. hills. Hey, on for the, the first time looking at this image on the right side, there's an elephant. You can see his eye kind of right in the mid of the frame is his eye and his trunk is going down oh. into the water. I see what you're saying. Wow, I've never seen that before. He's Anyways, sucking up the water. He is, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, through this has been simplified too. I just, I don't know why I like it. That's just how I'm seeing and enjoy it that way. It's, this is through composition, purely through composition. And yeah. well, I guess through underexposure to remove detail too. Sure. So again, the techniques that you use aren't really the vision. The vision is what's driving and commanding the techniques. Yeah. I'd hate to see people run out there with just a underexposing and long exposure just to oh, double beef in there. Oh, okay. Now, those are examples. Yeah, good examples. So I, as you, you, I'm going to share my screen for a second to. Uh, to talk about a, a con, you know, the opposite, contrary to sim simplification, something that my buddy Dan Sniffen coined the phrase complex simplicity. 
Hmm. And so here's, I think, what he was, well, I know what he was talking about. That's, so that would be, can you see that? Did that come up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that got too big there. <laughs> yeah. Cause, yeah. So we were, we were having a discussion about this image. It's in the Smoky Mountains, uh, an area that Tony Sweet has pointed out to me. And really, it, it's a pretty complex, busy image. But it's really very simple. It's a bunch of vertical lines broken up by that one tree here, and all the lines that are going every which way direction. That's really yeah. all it is. And so I just wanted to show that image to further the discussion, you know, that that's an interesting concept. Yeah, it doesn't have to. You can still have simplicity even in a complex scene it can still be like for instance i can imagine being on a boulder beach up in in maine or those boulders or rocks uh in is it ruby beach it's out in or second beach one of those beaches in in um washington state olympic national park where you have all those very colorful yeah. stones you know i mean yeah it's complex in that you've got 20 or 30 stones in there but it could still be a pretty simplified image. Yeah, yeah. If and, and, and you're an example of both simplicity and complexity. You're one of the simplest people I know, and yet I am. you're still I know. very complex. What's uh, what? What is the complex part of me? <laughs> okay, I exaggerated. You're just simple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good discussion. Good yeah, discussion. It's, it's, I, yeah, good food for thought. That last thought, though. What did you call it? Simple complex. Complex simplicity. Complex simplicity. I'll ponder on that for a bit. Yeah, ponder on that one for a bit. Uh, okay. And then, uh, and just remember, those who are still with us listening, we're we're not suggesting that you too have to employ simplicity. I just, I think it's a worthy thing to consider, though. Uh, but ultimately, you should be considering or. I hear I am using should I hate using that word you might be considering what is your vision and, yeah. and executing that yeah. so all right bud hey let's do. do one more and then I'm getting hungry I gotta go eat. <laughs> okay I gotta go mow the lawn too so let's get doing